The service at the Advanced Imaging Facility of the Gulbenkian Institute of Science is integrated in the single cell hub because we provide services to image cells all the way up to organisms. My name is Gabriel Martins and I'm the head of the Advanced Imaging Unit at the Gulbenkian Institute of Science. We can provide scientists with all the tools and the technological uh, capabilities to observe single cells alive or fixed. We also support the, the single cell hub with other types of microscopes that allow large tissue scanning and, and a lot of techniques. This uh, type of microscope that we're seeing now in the background is actually fully integrated in the single cell hub and it has been used by researchers from the IGC, from outside the IGC, to specifically observe individual cells. We can actually follow cells alive during several hours and this system actually comes equipped with a laser that allows you to specifically focus on individual cells to try to change the components inside the cell or to cut little portions of the cell. And this kind of microscopy is ideal for this because it's it, it, even though it uses lasers, it's kind of gentle. It keeps the cells alive for many, for many, many hours. Spinning disc confocal microscopy um, is a type of microscopy that for us, for cell biologists, it's kind of like the MRI or the CT scanner, which allows us to see inside living cells, uh, layer by layer, and make three-dimensional reconstructions. So we can get a virtual representation of the cell in three dimensions and follow it overnight, for example, or while they're alive, moving in, in vitro or inside an embryo. So it'll, it gives us a really powerful tool to kind of like walk inside close to a cell and see what the cells are doing. And then, because it has these lasers that allow us to manipulate the cells, so it, it's, it's our laser uh, forceps, we can actually perform experiments on the cells individually uh, with these lasers with really fine precision. We can focus the laser with a precision that is about a thousand times smaller than the tip of a human hair. Access to the facility is fully open. So anyone in the country and even outside the country, we've had researchers come in from outside of Portugal as well, can use our microscopes. They just need to go online and say, I want to do these experiments. We can provide full support where they come in. They don't even know how to do the experiments. We teach them how to, we have a multidisciplinary team made of physicists, biologists, and even IT people, and we can provide them support on how to do their experiments based on what they want to learn. And then we can sit with them at these microscopes because these are very complex pieces of equipment. Go step by step on how to use. Because we have so many different systems, typically we train the users so they're fully independent, like the researchers working right now. They can do their own experiments after we've trained them, but we can also follow with them. The complex part in, in the end very often is the analysis of these images so these are images time lapses over time overnight sometimes many hours we need to move see the dynamics of the cells moving so we also have expertise in image analysis and, and image data analysis and we can provide support for that as well so any researcher is uh, welcome to come and use this system and we can as I said provide full support to the research in all steps of the, the imaging process